Okay, so we've moved on, we're parked up above the hill in. So Jed doesn't have to climb up the bloody hill and then we're going to walk along that track there and go up to Great Dam. Somebody texting me. Uh, there's Wernside. Flurry of snow on the top of that. Very chill wind coming from this direction. And we look round here. And as Pete was saying, beautiful glacial valley that. And around there be Ingleborough again with a I'm sure that'll be snowing on top. And we're going over over there to Great Dock. Across the back and down down. <laughs> well there was a track. There it is, is that it? That's it, that's it there, look. Back down that track. It'll do for today. And previously, certainly before the 1950s, it was primarily cattle grazing. Well, it was. Yeah, they introduced the and cattle back, haven't they? Yes, that's yeah. right. Uh, because cattle have a different uh, habit, well, and they sheep don't crop shorter. They, cro than they crop very much shorter. They do. And also, cattle tend to pull at the turf, and you leave bare patches, which some uh, of the annuals. Why put a but, fence around? But the thing is, uh, there are areas where, because of the grazing pressure, there are areas where uh, the grazing is too much. Yeah, that's very it's nice. just that one compartment, compartment 29, the main uh, limestone pavement, hasn't been grazed for 25 years. It's gone close to Moss, which is a wetter area to the north, and it's grazed regularly uh, from uh, May to September. But part of that is a very nice little mire yeah, wet, wet. I know it is. Yeah. And uh, the small pearl board of fritillary is hanging on in the other compartment on the edges of this mire, but the majority of it is grazed to death on the other side of, or as far as that species is concerned, on the other side. Mm. So we're just fencing off another small area to be able to control the grazing. No. But there's access for, for all on all these uh, nature reserves. Uh, I, I have to be convinced about fencing yes. up places, I'm afraid. So it is Mr Whittaker. Terry Whittaker. Yeah. Terry Whittaker from English Nature. No, no. No. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an amateur. It's an amateur I'm, volunteer, I'm, yes, I'm yes. I'm a volunteer, yeah. Get the record straight. Yeah. <laughs> but he's yeah, telling us all about up here, it's very interesting. Ah, here we are at Great Dauk. Ah, a lot more trees from when we were here. It's very hard to see, but if you listen, you can hear the waterfall. Oh, we had some fun in that place when we were young. <laughs> right, well, let me show you this. There's a track there, look, and then it descends vertically, so we'll have a go, but I probably won't make it. <laughs> see now, okay. We're now going to attempt to go down there. <laughs> oh dear. Must be brain dead. Right, now unlike Peter there who just went uh, skiddy skiddy down, I'm going to use that, that tree root look. There's a dig there, goes down to um, Low Reaches, I believe, uh, which Actually, Pete had a go at that, uh, 59, 60-ish, but uh, not on that scale. And didn't get through, I'm sorry to say, did you, mate? No, didn't. No. <laughs> and you well, can't bloody win them all. <coughs> Great doubt. Oh, memories, memories. Memories. And Pete on his way down. And hopefully, on the way back, there is a 
all them tree roots, nature's very own handrail, which I am definitely going to need up there. Definitely going to need those tree roots. Get this one out. They're very conscientious about uh, safeguarding stuff these days, aren't they? Well, they are. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I suppose there is something to be said about health and safety. Uh, Hello, sweetheart. It's been a long time since we've been in you. <laughs> ah, fun cave, though. Especially coming out that far end. You remember, you thought oh, I got that little keyhole in the roof. It was fun. The middle wash bit. Well, we'll whatever. We'll walk past it. <laughs> oh, we'll walk past yeah, it, will we? All right. We'll past no it. sweat. Oh. Yeah, nice stream coming to in out there. Look and. Uh, Heating the entrance to uh, Great Dauk and it's snowing, Peter! <laughs> That's our first snows we've had of the year. Give us a wave! <laughs> Keep seeing this hole up on the top there. Uh, or more accurately, he says. Why is there a pipe, a pipe sticking out of the hole? That's one, two, three. Peter, there are three pipes. And a note. <laughs> we'll soon find out. I ain't climbing up there, that's for sure. There he goes, not far now. Oh, look at those icicles on the, the side of the cave. Brilliant. <laughs> Woo. Well, they're not melting. There must be some water running in from above. Uh, from that ledge there, but that's where it ends. Icicles in great doubt. Great. So we're back up the slope out of the, uh, the hole. That's where the, the dig is, down into the lower levels there. And uh, way up in that tree, look, we have a nest. Hang on, that tree. <laughs> That's a pigeon's nest. Is it? Yeah, My you goodness. just lay twigs and two eggs. Oh, right. So you can well, tell nobody's going to get at it there, are they? Uh, I wouldn't think so, no. Yeah. Yeah. Wise old bird. This is a little, little down entrance to the, uh, the shaft down into the passage. I'd forgotten all about it. He said this is the daylight shaft. Just couldn't remember it. And then it heads uh, up that way to Middle Washfold. Gets lower, lower, lower until you're crawling out. But it's a good trip, good through trip for novices. Yeah. Oh, the cloud. Hey, the, the, the borough's um, pretty cloudless at the moment. If we walk over there. Over there, yeah. Good um, hard rocking. Hard rocking, yes. Yeah. So we'll, we'll let that way from here. Right. Oh. Yes, hard rocking cave. Going under, under the wall. Look, over the wall, over the stream. Interesting. So I'm going to climb over there where Peter is and have a look at Hard Rocking Pot. Okay, he comes out of this side of the wall and goes down Hard Rocking Pot. Listen, splash, splash. Hey, good one. Some uh, nice clint up on top of here, look. Which I do believe they're going to um, English nature, is it? Yeah. I'm going to fence them off to preserve the butterflies, which is all well and good. Uh, I suppose they know what they're doing. But well, I've never seen sheep. Okay, okay, I've just said I've never seen sheep on Clint. Hello there, sheep. <laughs> oh dear. Won't be the first time I were wrong. <laughs> uh, ooh, it's getting a bit nippy. Can you tell us who you are and what you're doing? <laughs> Um, I'm Craig Palmer and um, work for the, the Army Emergency Caving. Um, just 
doing uh, hijack holes through to Great Chief. Right, great stuff. I'll try to, uh, I'll try to get them army cadets. My God, they must be bloody freezing. Just on middle wash with great dog, and they're being marched down the hill. <laughs> hey, they must be bloody freezing. We're going back to the. Oh look, what? <laughs> Proper cavers. Ah, hello there, fellas. Yeah, oh, cute. Yes. <sighs> oh, look, proper cavers. How many cadets? You must be freezing your what's it's off, lad. We did that 50 years back. 